Good afternoon, everyone. With all the focus on the heavy snowstorms, record snowfall, record cold around the United States and Canada, there seems to be a couple stories that were missed that are really interesting. The Mediterranean hurricane that blasted through Italy and Sicily. Also grabbing news headlines at the same time was Cyclone Nuri, which was the lowest millibar storm ever recorded that had been a non-typhoon event. Interestingly though, Nuri was on one side of the planet. Another extreme low passed up through Greenland in the exact same days, almost balancing on our Earth couple shots here for you to look at but most interestingly was the medicane the mediterranean hurricane it didn't make much news in the united states i didn't really hear about it until i was just searching through record snowfalls for europe and i stumbled across the story here's a satellite view coming off of the desert there it's kind of a rare event it happens every 10 to 15 years once but it's just quirky that with all these vorticity events across the northern hemisphere that this occurred in the exact same time as well as the ones with Greenland, Nuri, these are all spinning events. And anytime we have circular air pattern of course you're going to have some sort of tornadoes or water spots across. Here's a couple that were off of Sicily and at the same time pushing a little bit more over into Eurasia. Afghanistan had early snows unexpected deeper than usual. Iran got blanketed in snows where thousands of people had to be rescued. It was an unexpected snow in November in the beginning first week. These different provinces, I'm not even going to try to pronounce those because I don't speak Farsi. And as we look at the Earth's climate history changing, which it always does, there is always climate change. It gets warmer, it gets colder. There were ice ages, there were dry periods, there were warm periods, there were wet periods. It's always changing. If we go back in history, here's what I found a PDF that listed and described the mega lakes in the Sahara Desert 7,000 years before present. Now this was a climatic condition when we were coming out of the last ice age. Theorized also in this PDF that I linked below, if we're going back into a new ice age, these should start to become wetter areas across the planet, which means deserts currently should become food production areas. It's interesting that China is investing so heavily in Africa, pretty much in the exact same areas in the north, northwest, northeast, that these food production areas or the drier areas in the desert should turn into more of a savanna type area where food can be grown. Now, if China really understands that in their own country it's too far north and food production would be affected greatly in China which it will be in the United States Canada and Russia as we get cooler year on year from now as we go into a solar minimum which will bring us back to the early 1800s cooling trend it would be a smart move for China to jump over there and grab what is now worthless desert land if it will become arable land food production area in the next 10 years or so the investment amounts are far greater in Africa than any other place on the planet that China is currently investing in. And the reason I talk about climate changing in extremes so quickly is there are many forecasts out there and many solar physicists, astrophysicists, that in the next couple of solar cycles we are going into a solar minimum that is going to cool the planet several degrees Celsius ushering in blizzards, snow, record cold that will affect crop production. If this is true, China's taking a good play in advance of grabbing this land that could become possibly food growing potential area to supply their citizens. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. 